Welcome back. This lesson is going to focus on how we divide fractions using our standard algorithm. So if you remember, we've been working on dividing fractions by fractions and fractions by whole numbers. And we've had to draw a model each time. Now we're going to use our shortcut method, which should save us a lot of time as long as we understand what that model is telling us from previous examples. So here I have 3 eighths divided by 2 thirds. And I'm going to start by using our acronym, the KEEP, CHANGE, FLIP. K standing for KEEP, C standing for CHANGE, and F standing for FLIP. What we remember is there's three parts to this, part one, part two, part three. And there's also three parts to our fraction, part one, part two, part three. Each part is always going to stay the same. Keep will always be the first part of your fraction. Number two will always be change, meaning we change. And three will always be flip, meaning we're going to flip this third fraction. So let's walk through an example. My first step is K, that keep. So I'm going to keep three eighths the same. So I copy it down, and it's going to be the exact same. My next step is cheat is C for change. So what that means is I'm going to keep everything the same so far. So I just copy what I have right above. And then I'm going to change this division sign to a multiplication. If you remember for our models, division is the exact same as multiplication, but we're using the inverse. So divided by 2 is the same thing as multiplying by 1 half. And then my last step is flip. So the problem is still going to stay the same. I copy everything from above, 3 eighths, times, and now I'm going to flip, meaning I'm going to take the reciprocal. So my denominator becomes my numerator, and my numerator becomes my denominator. And then I'm ready to solve my problem. So how do I solve it? Well, I remember when I multiply fractions, I just multiply my numerators, so 3 times 9, or 3 times 3 is 9, and I just multiply my denominators, 8 times 2, that is 16. Then I look to see if I can simplify, and I cannot simplify, so now my problem is finished. So as long as you use that keep change flip method, you will always be fine.